They're great. Does that make you hungry? How about this one? Silly rabbit, tricks are for kids. Not yet? What about kid tested, mother approved? Yes, breakfast food slogans are silly and inaccurate. After all, what sane mother would approve a breakfast food based on testing conducted by someone whose diaper she has changed? Real testing of breakfast foods reveals something that no sane mother would approve. The presence of disturbing levels of a common and poisonous pesticide. The Alliance for Natural Health USA, that's us, arranged for independent laboratory testing of two dozen of the most common and popular breakfast foods. That testing reveals an alarming fact. Glyphosate, the world's most widely used pesticide, is a common ingredient on the American breakfast table. This poison, recently named a probable carcinogen or cancer-causing agent by the World Health Organization, was detectable in 10 of the 24 breakfast foods we tested. Our analysis revealed the presence of glyphosate in oatmeal, bagels, eggs, unfortunately including one organic egg, potatoes, and in both dairy and non-dairy coffee creamers, including non-GMO soy creamer. What is most interesting, and by interesting I mean disturbing, is that some of these products, such as eggs and dairy creamers, don't have any direct contact with the pesticide. This indicates that the animals that produce these foods are ingesting and passing along the pesticide, something that the biochemical industry has long claimed is not possible. After years of claiming that glyphosate offers no threat to humans, the FDA recently made the decision to begin testing specific foods for these toxins, which are known endocrine disruptors. We have a news flash for the FDA, the EPA, and various other agencies that have spent years defending the use of these poisons. You're very late to the game. These things are extremely toxic and dangerous. You need to outlaw the use of this terrible pesticide. To make matters worse, a recent study suggests that some of the so-called inert ingredients that herbicide manufacturers add to glyphosate to increase its potency are potentially more dangerous than glyphosate itself. Until recently, nobody was paying attention to these because they were assumed to be chemically inactive and therefore safe, but one of them may be especially dangerous for humans. To see the details of our report and to let the FDA know that you don't want glyphosate for breakfast or any other meal, click the links below.